Welcome back to Let's Review, a show where we discuss the latest as well as greatest in entertainment and media alike. I'm your host, PraiseK3000, and today I'll be reviewing a film I recently watched. So the plan ahead will be to discuss the overview of the movie, meaning who made it, who's in it, and what it's about. Then we'll be moving on to the story at hand, where I usually elaborate on my thoughts towards the piece of media we're discussing, which will then lead into the final wrap-up before we go, where I generally summarize all we discussed in the video. Now, let's review. Overview of the media we're discussing. Ben-Hur is a 1959 American epic historical drama film directed by William Wyler, produced by Sam Zimbalist, and starring Charlton Heston as the title character. A remake of the 1925 silent film with a similar title, it was adapted from Lou Wallace's 1880 novel Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. The screenplay is credited to Carl Tunberg, but includes contributions from Maxwell Anderson, S. N. Berman, Gore Vidal, and Christopher Fry. Review of the movie. This movie is the definition of an epic tale. The story is spectacular both in its execution of story and its length of expansive vastness of characters, action, drama, the acting is out of this world great, which I'll get to later. The action is not only victorious, but glorious in some other way, and also beautifully disastrous. The writing is infinitely wise with the amount of quotable lines that are in here. The execution of delivery, which brings so much more potency and powerful emphaticness to the script itself. And the way it was said, who said it, everything about the writing was just amazingly beautiful. The direction itself was also amazing and should be lauded with William Wyler's execution of the story, direction of actors, and the production of, uh, of the film itself. The film does run on a bit, and it is one of those films that takes a while to grab your attention, but when it does, it never lets go. And once again, let me return to praising the actors involved, uh, particularly the performances of Charlton Heston and Stephen Boyd, who completely steal their show with their characters and the action of the infamous chariot scene, uh, which is definitely well worth the four hour long runtime wait. Uh, in its regard and reverence, it was everything that I expected and everything that I didn't expect at the same time. This film is one you have to watch and also have to keep an open mind about because it is a little bit dated for its time in some ways, but still potent in its messages and themes in other ways. In my eyes, it's almost close to a perfect film, if there ever is one. And now for the wrap-up before we go. So with that said, this movie, my final thoughts on it is that it's not only one to behold and one I'll never forget. It's called a classic, a masterpiece, and it's all those things and more because there's not one like it and probably will never be anything like it ever again in the world of film. Which is why I can't just say I highly recommend it or even put it on a rank. This movie is a must-see and one every single film fan and non-fan should see if you haven't already.